Hello viewers. In this lecture, we will see how a MATLAB code can be designed for a numerical scheme that has been proposed in this research paper while using metal leffler type kernel, also called Atangana Baliano Fractional Differential Operator, while the operator used here is of variable type. So in my previous three lectures, I have already discussed with you that how we can design numerical schemes under Caputo differential operator, that is power law type kernel, and under Caputo Fabrizio differential operator, that is exponential type kernel. While the order, the fraction order was a function, it was no more a constant. So as we know that, the integral nature of the fractional operators is associated with the ability to account for the history. That is not only the instantaneous value of the dependent variable. When time is chosen as the independent variable, this property is referred to as memory. When a space is chosen as the independent variable, non-local properties are obtained. This memory is associated with both the constant order and variable order operators and is sometimes called the fedding memory. Additionally, the variable order operators also enable memory of their order, which is sometimes called the order memory as well. So variable order fractional calculus is also very important including the constant order fractional calculus. So before you watch this lecture completely I would recommend that you must watch the previous three lectures that are related to this lecture. I will provide the link for those three lectures in the description box. So let's let me show you the numerical scheme for which I have designed a MATLAB code. So you can see here that the numerical scheme is now denoted by the first equation for x, second equation for y, and also third equation for z variable since the system that is being simulated is the financial system in this research paper that contains the three governing equations. So now let me show you the code for the scheme that I had just shown you. In the code as you know that line number 9 is a required input. It is uh, the step size, some value for the independent variable initial and the last value and you have this integration interval and shows the number of iterations, line number 11, initial conditions, Line number 14, required parameters of the model and these parameters I have taken from table 1 of the research paper and line number 17, 18, 19 is the governing system called financial system given in the research paper. Line number 22, this is our uh, fractional order that I have taken as a constant arbitrarily chosen by me, 0 0.976. Now this loop starts and I want you to focus on the first equation of this loop. Let me switch to the research paper and look at the scheme side by side. So now if you tally the terms of this numerical scheme with the code you will easily understand how I have written the terms. So once again, focus on line number 27 of this code and compare the terms with the terms given in the scheme of the research paper. So numerator as the first term on the right hand side, x0, this is x of 1 in the code. Then you have some terms gamma of alpha times 1 minus alpha. You can see these terms over here. So if you compare, once again, if you compare term by term, you will not have any difficulty as I have used the same symbols as being used in the scheme of this research paper. So 
I will switch to the code now. After writing the equation for x variable, you do not need to do anything. You just simply copy this first equation and paste it for the variable y. Now, slight change that you have to bring is that instead of x over here on the left hand side, you will mention y. Similarly, the first term on the right hand side, x of 1, will be now y of 1. And finally, wherever f1 was written for the x equation, you have to write down f2. Same happens for the third equation, that is for the third dependent variable in the dynamical system. After that, I have plotted the phase plane. And then the main thing it starts, which is the major purpose of the research paper, taking alpha as no more a constant. As you can see on line number 50 now, alpha is defined as a function of t. So, how this code has been designed, once again, super simple for the code or the loop that I have typed for the constant version, just copy it and paste it at the bottom of this code by replacing alpha, this alpha, by alpha of t of m. Let me now show you. Look at this, the first equation. What difference you feel? Instead of alpha, you have alpha of t of m. Nothing else has to be changed. For y, same. For y, for z, same. And then I have plotted the second figure, the phase plane. That would come as a result of the simulation with variable order version of this scheme that has been designed for the Atangana Paliano fractional differential operator. Now, the simulations were taking a lot of time, so I have already plotted. Figure 1, this is the result for constant fractional order. Figure 2, this is a result from the variable fractional order. And if you compare these phase planes with the phase planes given in the research paper under this scheme, you will see that both phase planes are same. So this is how the numerical scheme can be designed in MATLAB for this last operator given in the research paper with the mitak leffler type kernel. I hope you have enjoyed the lecture. Finally, I would request you to like, share, and to subscribe my channel. Thank you so much for watching the lecture.